YouTube was good with y'all, man. Today, we're going to be talking about every single one of the 24 badges that 2K has added to NBA 2K24. OK, now all of these badges are brand new. They have never been in 2K before. And, you know, 2K24, 24 badges in honor of Kobe Bryant just makes sense bro along with adding 24 new badges they have also removed 11 from the game okay and some of them are some pretty big badges so if y'all want to see those badges that they took out just wait until the end of the video i'm gonna hook y'all up with the info man don't trip all right so we're just gonna be talking about every single badge they've added what it does and then when we get to the end of the video we'll talk about what this means for the game and how it's gonna change gameplay hey but before I get started on this video, I need y'all to subscribe and turn on the notice for me, bro. Because tomorrow I'm going to be dropping an in-depth guide on the new badge system and all the badge requirements. It's going to be crazy stacked with info. So if y'all don't want to miss that, hit the noti bell, man. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm just going to go through all the names of these badges and read out what they do. So y'all can pause it, replay, whatever you need to do. You feel me? So the first new section of badges is scoring. All right. And then new scoring badges. Okay. I got a list on my phone right here. All right. We have... Float game. A player's ability to make floaters and runners while attacking the basket is improved with float game. So it's basically like teardropper. Scooper. Quick scoop layup shot chances are improved. Bunny. Hop step layups and dunks receive an increased shot chance. That might be OP, bro. Might be some 2K20 hop step shit. Spin cycle. Drives finished with a spin layup or dunk will receive an increased shot chance ability. Two step cradle and euro step layups and dunks receive a shot boost, bro. So it really looks like they're trying to make slashers like come back to the game. They just want them to have more options when they're scoring, which isn't a bad thing. But like, we're just going to have to see how OP it is or if it's not OP at all. Precision dunker. Those who utilize the skill dunk mechanic will receive an improved chance of flushing their dunk attempt. So for y'all that were mad at the meter cheese last year, hopefully they toned it down so that you can't really make every single dunk unless you have this badge oh god hook specialist increases a player's ability to make hook shots from the post hey man those post scorers day one are gonna be lethal i'm telling you post fade phenom similar to hook specialist post fade phenom will allow a player to make post fades and hop shots out of the post at a higher clip bro so they're really giving like each type of different player like their own badges that help them out specifically which is good because now there's going to be a wide variety of builds it's not just going to be all six nine demigods that can do everything it's going to be a post scorer maybe a playmaker maybe a slasher maybe a shooter like it's going to add some diversity to the game okay now starting with the shooting badges open looks as a way to encourage sudden opportunities open looks will enhance a player's ability to make wide open jumpers so this kind of just reminds me of claymore or maybe like steady shooter from an old game but it's probably like worked out to where it's better in this game which is good we have spot finder by utilizing the get open mechanic r2 or right trigger tap spot finder allows players to receive a speed boost off the ball to get an open space with a raised chance of knocking down the shot off the ensuing catch. Oh, off the ball speed boost? So Spot Finder is basically like a badge that helps you dex. They added a badge that helps you dex people in 2K, bro? Whistle, creating contact and getting to the free throw line when attacking the rim or shooting a jump shot is improved with a new whistle badge. Bro, nobody's gonna use that in park. Like maybe if you play a lot of my career, you're gonna end up having that badge, but like, I don't see that badge making any difference in the game. Free points, in clutch moments, knocking down free throws with the game on the line is improved with a free points badge. Mid badge once again. Bulldozer, a mix of a scoring and a ball handling badge. Think of this as Bully version 2.0 with elements of the old clamp breaker. Bulldozer improves the player's ability to push through physical body ups and finish with physicality around the rim. Bro, so they just mended quick first step and bully in the same badge? What? Bro, nah. Bulldozer might be one of the most OP badges in the game, I'm telling y'all right now. Alright, moving on to the ball handling and passing badges. Playmakers will find themselves with a surplus of new badge options. Relay Passer, a hockey assist badge. Relay Passer provides a boost to shooters in a pass to assist situation. So it's just dimer, I guess. So now y'all remember the pass to assist. It wouldn't give you anything except teammate grade. Now y'all can actually help out your teammates if that's what ends up happening a lot. Touch Passer, 
Players who quickly move the ball upon receiving it will get faster pass animations with the touch passer badge. Big driver, face up bigs driving to the basket from within the mid range area will receive an initial launch boost with big driver. Pro, so they got a specific quick first step badge for bigs? I mean, I think 2K knows what they're doing, especially since they released all the badge requirements, which by the way, if y'all want to know, like I said earlier, I'm dropping a video on that tomorrow in depth about everything you need to know about badges. So y'all make sure to hit the bell, bro. Blow by. Quicker ball handlers receive boosts and body up interaction with defenders when blow by is equipped. So this is the quick first step for short guards, which... I think blow by big driver and bulldozer might be the three most op badges to have in the game physical handles during physical body up interactions player with physical handles have a higher chance of winning the outcome following a dribble move bro how many of these are they gonna make blow buys are gonna be insanely op bro what the hell speed booster a perimeter only quick for step badge speed booster will allow for quicker launches when coming from a standstill dribble situation Bro, so they just made stop and goes 10 times more efficient, bro. They literally just took quick first step and made like five different badges out of it. I'm not like complaining because I don't know anything about the game yet. We're just going to have to see how everything works. Triple strike. Players excel with triple threat launches and jukes at a higher rate with triple strike. Okay, now moving on to the defensive badges, bro. The category that so many people are saying is going to be the most OP in the game. Here's how 2K explains it. Championships are built on defense and defenders in NBA 2K24 will not be left behind. Fast feet. It wouldn't be a fair game if only offensive players received speed boosts. Fast feet can be looked at as a quick first step badge for defenders, allowing defensive specialists to stay in front of shifty ball handlers. Yeah, bro, defense is going to be one of the most OP things in the game, I'm telling you. Right stick ripper. Those who utilize the right stick steal mechanic will receive a boost on steal attempts with right stick ripper. That's kind of cool. Immovable enforcer. A direct counter to bulldozer. Immovable enforcer allows defenders to win physical matchups when it comes to body ups and contact layups. God damn. The good thing is at least when they make an OP badge, it has a counter to it. And to me, it seems like the counter to everything in this game is just going to be better defense, bro. If you have good defense in NBA 2K24, you're not losing a single game. Simple. 94 feet. Players with 94 feet receive fewer body up stamina hits and improved body up wins when pressing full court. Don't worry, those who do not have this badge will regret pressing full court. So what I'm hearing is full court pressing is either going to be very good or very bad, depending on if you have this badge or not. So y'all be careful on defense, man. God damn, bro. That was hella new stuff they added. Bro, hit that like button for me if you're still here and have not hit it yet, man. And if you got this deep to the video, comment Ronnie2k for me. All right, now let's get to the badges that they removed from the game. Some of these might actually surprise y'all. Badges removed. Limitless Takeoff, one of the most OP badges from 23. Bully, another OP badge. Clamp Breaker, Menace, Mismatch Expert, and get this bro quick first step has been taken out of the game vice grip has been taken out amped has been taken out clutch shooter floor general and volume shooter so you know some of those badges don't really matter but a lot of the big ones that did matter they split them up into multiple new badges okay which y'all could probably start to tell by now for example let me just tell y'all Quick first step has been replaced by blow by and big driver and bully has been messed up with clamp breaker and replaced a badge named bulldozer. I actually kind of like what 2k is doing here because now the badges are build and height specific. So there won't be like demigods one week into 2k and especially now since you only get badges if you play a specific way to get them. Watch my video tomorrow on how the new badge system works. Nah but seriously though I think this game is going to be really fun and like interesting to get into in the first week because everybody's going to be trying to figure out how to make a build that supports their specific play style. Anyways man I hope y'all enjoyed the video and learned something new from it. As always make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notice for me so y'all don't miss any new news updates there's a lot of 2k content coming out soon man let's get it